it's Neva at timeforinvesting.com and today I want to share the process from beginning to end of one of my wholesale deals and let you guys see how I go through marketing for a deal and closing a deal. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is how did I find this deal? So two things I did. One was I market every door direct mail in this particular neighborhood. And so what I did, I went to Postcard Mania and they created, is it showing in focus, this postcard for me. And this is the back. And I'm just going to read the little fine print because you can't read that. But what it says is, um, I am actively, I am actively seeking to purchase five houses in your neighborhood over the next 60 days. If you have any interest in selling, I can pay a fair price and buy your house as is and close on the date of your choice. I do not list houses. I am a professional real estate buyer. I can offer immediate debt relief and, and, and fast cash. So that's what the postcard says. So I did that and then the other thing I did is I cold called um, property owners um, in this area. So I called and for my cold call I do, I call, I say, hi, this is Neva Williamson. I'm a local real estate investor in your area and I see that you're an investor as well with rental property. I'm calling because I'm looking for property to buy and I wondered if you may be interested in selling any of your rental property at this time. So that's all I say to start, right? So I always get people that are like, I can't cold call. If you can just call and say what I just said, you can cold call. So I did that and we were able to come to um, and negotiate on a price for this house, okay? And um, the next thing I would like to um, point out to you is what was his motivation to even sell this property. And so you want to get that out in the discussions as well as you go back and forth. And what he said was, you know, he would be interested at this time. He had owned the property since like the 80s. He had tons and tons of equity and he would be interested in cashing out and investing in something else and just paying off some bills. And he was um, close to retirement as well. Um, so that was his motivation to sell to me. He also gave me a deadline that I needed to close quickly or, you know, he was going to just, you know, cancel his contract with me. So that his motivation was pay off bills, close quickly. So um, the next question I would like to go over. So I went over how I market for the deal. What was the motivation of the property owner? And, oh, the other thing I want to cover is how did I find a cash buyer? The cash buyer for this, I ended up doing a joint venture. And a joint venture is just when one of my buyers, maybe they just didn't have the cash, they weren't interested in that particular type of property. But I ended up one of um, my real estate agents that I know that he's an agent and an investor. And so he has a humongous buyers list and he had a buyer. So we closed on it um, together, which was good. I mean, I made... My portion on the deal ended up being eight. No, my portion on the deal ended up being ten thousand. So I pay. They paid me ten, and they paid him ten. So hey, <laughs> I uh, if I can't buy find a buyer and they still pay me ten thousand, I go with that. So the other thing I want to cover is that every deal or every transaction, there's like hiccups or things that are just not you know, in a guru book or whatever, just so that when these things happen to you in your real life transactions, you don't freak out and think that it's only happening to you. So what happened with me is that I had this humongous sign on my truck that said we buy houses. And 
his motivation was, hey, you close on the property with your buyer and we do not let the tenants know until the deal is completely closed. So I was like, basically had to go into these units to do inspections and things with our buyer while these people were at home, right? So I had to like take, strip everything off my car, the signs, because he didn't want like maybe, you know, his tenant drives up and they see this sign that, you know, we buy houses. So that, and then one of the ladies was like a hoarder and I'm in the house, I could like, I'm gonna post, figure out how I can post pictures while I'm talking and insert that but she was like a hoarder and I'm trying to like get around one of the units I was like oh come on and then the other thing was when I got to close oh so that's what I was gonna say then one of the days while I was there one of the tenant pops up and I'm like I'm just telling her how like I'm there I'm trying to um just do um what did I say I think I said something like oh we're from like property management we're just like um, checking on different things to um, for repairs and stuff, you know, because I was like, oh my gosh, she ended up like coming home for some reason, right? And then um, the other thing that came up was when we went to closing, it was a multi-unit. One of the units, it wasn't showing up, so then they wouldn't allow us to close because the county was saying they didn't have documentation showing that that unit existed, which is like completely crazy, you would think. Like people add, you know, illegal extensions to their house, but like a whole unit, they were like, we don't show that that unit is supposed to be there. So we had to go searching through um, county documents and things um, to find it. So just stuff like that. So I just want to share the story with you because, you know, it's $10,000 and from start to finish, you can market and get these deals in today's market. So I just want to share it with you. I hope that you've learned something. Um, subscribe to my channel um, for more information like this and thumbs up the video so that I'll know these are the types of things that you would like to see more of on my channel. So I'll see you next video. So go out and get your deal. Alrighty, bye-bye.